man. Hey, I'm Josh Wolf. I'm Jacob Wolf. And this is Hey Man Pod. Hey man. Well, I mean, yeah, this is Hey Man Pod. We didn't do the we didn't do know. that at the beginning of the last one. No, we were sort of talking about something else and then just got right into it and then just said hello and then And and we never said hey man. No. I mean I said hey man a couple of times to try and get you to say it and like you said it, but like we didn't do like the Official Hey Man? Yeah. By the way, this looks so much less dark than the other one. Doesn't it? No, it's just now that the camera has adjusted to now the light entering and re-entering the room or entering and leaving the room because now it's one, it's not like gradually getting darker. It's already all the way dark. Uh huh. So now it's just focused on this light. What the fuck that means. Um, so the now, old man. we're doing emails. We're answering your questions. We got a bunch of good ones. If you want to have your email answered, possibly. Uh, send possibly. it into possibly. Send it into Hey Man Pod. That's man with three A's. Hey Man Pod at gmail dot com. No exclamation point. Everybody. Hey, yeah, I was going to ask you if you thought that was one. The first question today is from Jesse. I'm not going to give people's last names. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah. That's hey man, nice I'm relatively new and found you guys thanks to Jacob's reaction videos. My question is, what can you do for a parent in honor of Mother Father's Day or their birthday, etc.? Well, they always say they don't want anything. My parents work really hard to make us kids' birthdays and other holiday specials, even though we are all grown. I usually get my mom a spa certificate, and my dad always just wants everyone to hang out together. What can I do, a gift for them to really show my love and appreciation? Thanks. Love the podcast. Jesse from Kansas City. Do you want me to go first? I'll go first. Well, first of all, Jesse from Kansas City, thank you very much for, for that. Um, and, you know, we always kind of have... The same problem with him. I always have the same problem with him. Every holiday, birthday, stuff like that. Um, Same with my mom, but there's always something that you can find for them. Like for him, double bubble, bubble gum is is just something that he's always really liked. So you get him a five pound bag of that and he does enjoy it. And it's, it, it's like a nostalgic and it's a meaningful thing. But the meaningful thing doesn't always have to be something that's that's also like crazy expensive. Like... By the way, we're wearing the same clothes. Don't worry. We filmed these back to back. You didn't have to point it out. You're fine. Uh, you had to point it. Okay, out. fine. Okay. Um, the gag gifts for him are what's the funniest and what's what he likes the most. Because when he says he doesn't want anything, that's fine. But if you get him something that's funny, he'll enjoy it more than if you get, you know, something that is uh, something else. But you know, can I go now? Do you want to go? Do you want me to tell you what we want? What do you want? From our, you, cause you're an adult kid. Okay, you, you wanna know what we want for real? We would like your time. We would like a, a real day. Whether we can take you out to lunch or you wanna take us out to lunch. Or you, I don't know what you like to do with your mom. Duck hunting, shopping. Your parents for their days would love a day. Let me take you out to lunch. You not on your phone. You paying 100% attention to them. That's it. When they say they don't want anything, that's true. But if you were like, hey, let me, just me and you, let me take you out to lunch or let's spend the day together, you win. You, be, you beat all the gifts everybody else gives them. Because that's it. At, at a certain age, you're like, I don't. And when he says I don't want anything, he's right. I don't. What the fuck do I want? But what I can't go get is time with you. Roger. So that's what I would say. Her Especially name, having adult kids. Her name's Jessie, not Roger. No, I, her name's Jessie. That's right. No. No, it's not. You're on another question. Oh. Her name is Jessie. <laughs> her name is Jessie, not Roger. Right. But this person's name isn't Roger either. It's Taylor. Where's Roger? Who's uh, Roger? Yeah. Thank you, Jessie. But yeah, that would be my answer. Thank you so much. Who's um, Sorry, Jesse. Did you know that, that that is the correct answer? By the way, I like all those things that you mentioned. I know. And I know that's the correct answer. Because that's what he asks for every year. Yeah. Yeah. Every single year for like the last... Forever. Yeah. Yeah, I just like hanging out with you guys. What's that good? Yeah, what do I need a shirt for? I got those. Shoes, though. Yeah, you did a great job with it. Whoa. You did a great... <sighs> 
This, I almost dropped it. Had you dropped a computer, I think we would have had to end the podcast. Listen, dude, your, your hair has really turned the corner, and it looks great again. What, this hair? Yeah. Yeah. It's really, I'm, it started to not, it's like... I need to get a cut. I've been saying it forever. I just haven't yeah, had time in like, the last fucking three it, months. It's, there's no frizz. It looks good. What do you mean there's no frizz? Look at all this. Oh, a little bit, but you know, you know what I'm saying. No, look, and look right here. You're all down here. And all over here. Yeah, wait, well, that's just, you gotta turn that out a little bit. So let me rip it out for you. This is from Taylor Louise Robinson. Hey guys, loving the podcast. You just both make a real casual kind of great conversations and great parent child duo for views of all ages and all things. I'm a 26 year old mom, two boys. So I love listening for advice, but also just to help me unwind and have a great laugh. You both doing great. Keep it up. And, th and thank you. Thank you. You both seem to have such a great love and understanding of each other that blends so well. We do. My question is, how does the whole family dynamic work when all the siblings and parents are together? Do you all vibe together as you two do in this pod? Also, Josh, where can I get a copy of your book? Because Amazon stock is unclear. Huh. I Should you sell out on Amazon? I don't know. If Amazon doesn't have it. I don't know. They keep kicking. I don't know. Okay, let me say, let me start with the family dynamic. So, a couple things. Um, look, I, I, I get along with all my kids very well mm -hmm. and especially one-on-one -on -one. and they all get along, but they also are all brothers and sisters. Do you know what I mean? Like definitely close, but our family is just like your family, you know? I mean, he and I have disagreements when he's always wrong and do you know what I mean? What a dick. And, and then, but but like, just like other families, you, I mean, hopefully you talk it out and then it's over. But um, yeah, we are all close and, and like to laugh and, and, um, and my family and Beth's family also are all very close and like to laugh. It's a good group of folks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Funny is funny in this family. That's right. And everybody gets that on both sides. Yeah, that's right. So, Yo, your brother and sister are both super funny. Yeah. Yeah, they're right. super funny. Uh, and don't know about the book. I'm so sorry. What a help you were. Did you want to be a big brother? Yeah. I thought, yeah. I, I was excited. I thought I was going to be. Were you looking at something you were looking forward to? Yeah, definitely. Don't did, kick that. Did you want a boy or a girl? Didn't matter. Yeah, you'd have been a good. You'd been a great. Didn't boy. matter. Yeah. Girl or boy, both can play a sport, whatever sport that is. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever sport that is, I'm in. That's fine. I'm in for that. Um, all right, Bob Marsh. Actually, you know what? David, he sent suggestions from Connect episode me. 10. Okay. Um, he sent some suggestions from episode 10 where we were talking about naming weed blend. All right. Weed. So his sativa would be yo man, I got the goods. Hybrid would be hey man, I have a good time chill. And CBD would be night man, mellow time. I feel like that CBD should be indica instead. But yes, I like it. Good one, dude. Good one, David. Thank you. So Bob, hi, my uh, name is Bob. I don't want to. I'm not going to give your last name. You'll know by your. Although I've given a couple last names already. I think you already said his last name. Damn it. Hey, my name is Bob. Big fan of your comedy and your pod with your son, Jacob. I'm 35 years old with two boys ages five and four. And a question I was wanting to ask you. Josh, how is being the fun guy you seem to be? How did you balance being a parent to your kid and being their friend? I'm a very sarcastic and joking person like you seem to be and hope my sons may have a relationship like you and Jacob. I'm just wondering how you found the balance with being the fun dad, but also having a disciplinarian as well. Well, Bob, I will tell you what my theory was on this. Oh, Bob. You ready? I was 
probably more strict than most people, especially nowadays, would be when the kids were young because I was single. And I needed them to know early on that I meant what I fucking said. And that, well, I wasn't gonna yell and scream, but if I said, yo, you guys have heard that story about when I threw away, threw away my oldest son's Game Boy? Yep. Right in front of his face, right down the trash chute. Crazy story. But I told him, you bring that Game Boy to school again, I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna, and he didn't believe me. But like, I threw that fucking, yeah, it was a tough day for him. But, but I had less troubles with them as they got older because we had already gotten past that part of them trying to push me or push the, you know, push the rule. Obviously, you're going to get tested when they get older, obviously. Right. But it was a relationship built on respect, not fear. That's why I don't think hitting your kid is the, look, people who hit, this is my theory, man. And by the way, if you beat your, if you hit your kid, that's up to you. If you got spankings and shit and you were on board with it, that's up to you too. It's just my theory. Anybody who's bigger than you, who hits you, you're at least a little scared of. And by the way, some people, that's how they run their house with a little bit of fear. I wanted to run it through respect because I needed them. I didn't know how long I was gonna be single. I was like, I'm gonna, if this is, if this goes deep in, and I got three teenagers and I'm a single dude, we're, we're gonna have to have a lot of respect for each other. And we're gonna have to be dealing with honesty, a lot of it. So yep. that's why I chose that. And, and so I think if you do what you say and you're a reasonable dude and you're not, and you're just consistent and you do what you say, your kids will respect you. And as you get older, that really turns into a friendship. That's my answer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not a dad, so. <laughs> but, I, I, but I will say, however, the one thing also on the same lines of that is, before anything, like yes, you can still be best friends with your kid, but before all of that, first things first is that you're a dad, and mm -hmm. that dads have to make different decisions than friends do. And you just have to come to terms with that and you have to figure out which decisions those are. How much did you hate it when we took you out of Notre Dame? I hated it. Was it the best decision we've ever made? Yeah, 100%. It, we, I made the compromise though. You were going to put me somewhere else and I was like, no, I get to choose where I get to go. That's true. And you were like, where? And I was like, champs. Yep. I don't have to make friends again. I know all these people. You know, I just didn't want to have to make friends again my senior year or get turned down from all the sports teams and shit because no, you know I'm, I'm, like, I'm with it I'm with it I'm with it that was a tough decision that your mom and I that was when we thought there was a high school that he had always wanted to go to since I was like 10 and I got in yep you got by the way you got in because you crushed that interview I think also that was when I was probably one of the like book smartest times in my life was around. Hey, let me just say seventh eighth grade. So it's not that you were any more or less. You just were studying trying. hard. I was trying you, harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, so. all. that's all that was. Um, but yeah, and then we were like, hey, I remember telling you, hey, because you weren't. There was shit going down at that school, and you were not thriving. No. I was sinking. You were sinking. And we recognized that. And we also knew that you didn't want to quit. And we also knew that you wanted to stay and graduate from the school. Hmm. And my GPA would not have thanked me. We. School's hard, too. We basically were like, we got to take him out of this school. He's going to hate it. And we're just going to mm -hmm. tell him we got to take you out. Yep. You're not doing it. It's not working for you. Yeah. You, you didn't talk to us for like three days. Yeah. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Maybe more. I just stayed in my room. Yeah, you were fucking mad, dude. Mm -hmm. But I was upset. And, but listen, guys. Definitely. Here's the thing. You're not going to get everything right as a parent. You're just not. But like, 
you still have to sometimes make tough decisions that you think are best for your kids. And sometimes you get them right. Uh, and sometimes you get them wrong. Uh, and you know what I mean? Happens. Yeah, it's called life. Electric word life, that means forever. And that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you. There's something that's else. copyright. Uh, that's, there's something else. Uh, okay. Copyright. That's right. But that, there you go, Bob. That's what I got for you. Good question, though. Um, Shaylin Watson. Damn it. <laughs> oh, you're such a dingus. <laughs> you're such a dingus. I'm like, I'm like Ron Burgundy. <laughs> you just put it in front of me and I just read it. Claps hands. <laughs> Uh, it is so stupid. Okay. Shaylin. Shaylin. <laughs> I just want to say I love this podcast. It's so relatable because I have such a similar relationship with my parents. And I aspire to also have that kind of relationship with my son. That's awesome. But first, I wonder if food preferences, especially junk food, is a bit of a generational thing. Because when you were talking about the chips, 98% agreed with all Jacob's choices. And we were a similar age. I bet you. I bet you it does. I don't like all the Fandango flavors. I like I like a lot of you know. What is a Fandango flavor? You with that's your the, dill pickle the, shit. The Fandango is the fucking movie service. Yeah, no, Fandango is like a name for something. The movie ticket service. No, but like you know, some of that new a new Fandango, like a new th- Fanta. What? A Fanta. Like a How Juana, come you look so much taller Fanta? than me on this episode? So I'm standing up straight. I'm standing up straight. Yeah, but I told you to raise your chair, and then you just said hit record, and I was like, okay. Was I this well, short last time? Like, 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 oh, this. that's right. I have, but then sometimes I straighten up. But then when I was, I don't like straightening up. I like being back here. I know. That's what I'm saying. Raise your chair. But I, why don't you just, how do you do that? There should be a switch on your right side. Not the one that's all the way down, the one that, yeah. No, yep. Whoa, what a difference. This is how it should have been the whole time. Probably a little lower. Why? This is what I should look like. Towering above you. Your shoulders are wide. <laughs> Damn it. Stop. The fuck Your shoulders are wide, dude. It was widen them out. Yo, dude. What's going on, Dudeski? Maybe. Move it and come in this way. So what I've been. Yeah, you're a wide guy. Pretty fly for a wide guy. That sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Next uh, question, uh, please. Right. Like Food preferences. Yeah, I think it's generational. That's 100% generational. It's what you grew up with. It's like, it's also a feeling of nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's why he likes his what? old-timey candies, and it's why I like my other, my candies. Old-timey candies? Like Werther's? Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite movie candy? What's your favorite movie candy? It kind of varied. It used to be Bunch of Crunch. Yeah. You know how much I love Bunch of Crunch. But by the way, there you go. That, that's all you need to say. Now it's like peanut M&M's. Well, that's an old man dessert. I love, fucking love peanut M&M's. You do? They're so good. You and Grandma and da- Uncle Dan. Oh, peanut M&M's are so gas. And Uncle Jonathan. Peanut M&M's are gas. Or Sour Patch Cheese. Or a chocolate covered almond is so much better than a peanut M&M. I didn't say it wasn't. Oh. <laughs> I would agree with that. Oh, but I can't get chocolate covered almonds at the movie theater. You got to you gotta keister them in. <laughs> you got to keister. <laughs> I tried to hold it together on that one. That you one know what I mean? Funny. Not actual uh, keister, but just put them in a purse or something. Yeah, that's not a keister. <laughs> those are two very different definitions. What if people were keistering their food into the movie theater? That would be crazy. I would them. rather I would rather keister some dark chocolate covered almonds than have to eat the peanut M and M's. Out of pocket, that's way over the top. 
and you know that it's so absolutely false, it's out of this world. You know what I'd call that? What? Cap. That's cap. What does that mean? You know, I mean, that's cap. Like, that's a lie. Like, you're capping. You're lying. What's all caps? What? What's all caps mean? What do you mean all caps? When people say no cap, what does that mean? No cap means like you're lying. Oh, no cap? So all caps means you're not lying. No. Or all caps just means when you you're just texting. Say cap. You just say cap. And when you're texting, it just that's all caps. Yes. So you say cap. Right. Cap means what? You're capping means you're yeah. lying. No cap means you're not lying. Mm -hmm. We did this and, already on an episode. And all caps is just for typing <laughs> on a computer or a phone. <laughs> so it's all it is. What about men in caps? No, try again. Also, do you think your wife would ever join you on the oh. podcast? Because that dynamic... That mirror keeps scaring me when people drive by, the car drives by, I think people are like driving into that. You see the people walking by right now? Walking no, across the street? I don't. Okay. Also, do you think your wife would ever join you on the podcast because that dynamic would be super cool to see and hear from? Yeah, she'd come on. I think, well, I think that would be a great guest. Yeah, one. we just have yeah. to, Sorry. we have to get the whole together. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Lastly, how close do your shows come to the East Coast? I travel all over. Yeah. All over, all over. I, I mean, I don't have anything in... I was just in Albany, which is not central New York, but... Yeah. And I do the city, but I don't know... And I don't know where Rochester is. I haven't done that in a while. And you do... Don't you do Buffalo? And I do Buffalo. That's do definitely... Buffalo. He does Buffalo like That's not the center. That's not the center. Right? I don't know where Buffalo... I was just thinking... Center's up near... Because uh, it's right near Niagara Falls. Got it. Um, you do Buffalo like twice a year, don't you? Once a year. I do. I try to do it close to everything once a year. Hey, Michael, I ask, has anyone got the Hey Man tattoo? Nope. nope. Not that we know of. Um, all right. I don't. Here we go. Nope. No. Oh, yeah, this one here. Yep. Ashley Noel. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Oh, I didn't read the last name. I know, but don't. You were about to. That's true. <laughs> hey, guys. Ashley. So I get if this question is too personal. If so, just ignore it. What are y'all willing and able to tell us about Jacob's biological mom? I'm giving that one to you. Here's what I would say. We don't talk about her because, much like I didn't write about her in my book, because that's not, that's not for us to do. I'm not, we're not going to, Talk, she's not here. So we're not going to, you know, it feels weird to talk about her like that. So she lives in Washington State. She's doing well. Um, and um, yeah, that's, I think, that, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? That's it. Yeah, I, I just don't feel right. It feels weird not her not being here, not talking to her about it being like hey we're going to talk about you in the podcast or it just feels like something we wouldn't do yeah i mean yeah. we did go on sigler's podcast yeah so i mean but we can't talk about her here no no that's fine we can't all right teddy dolker oh, damn it how are you? How would you spell that though? No one you would need to know how to spell that. That's like, why I was really trying to spell it out. Hey man, I'm originally from Central Florida area, and I always enjoy seeing Josh's shows on Orlando they are Improv. Thank you, Josh. Have you shown Jacob the spiritual awakening that is Holy Land? I have not. I've never been to Holy Land to see the proper. I can feel the love and respect that you both have for each other, and how you both truly enjoy each other's company. I look forward to more episodes of Hey Man podcast and trying to attend future shows. Oh, thanks, Daddy. Uh, yeah, he hasn't been to, to Holy Land, and I hear it closed down. I don't know what that is. Holy Land is an amusement park based on, I think, Jerusalem and the Bible. And it's called Hey Land. Hey, hey, it's called Holy Land. I'll pass. Um, Next question. <laughs> Jacob. Oh, I didn't say it. Hey, guys, love the show. Ah, Thank your name's you. also Jacob. Fuck yeah. My name's Jacob, and I'm writing in from New Zealand. I love New Zealand. My question is for the two of you. Good eye, mate. Uh, that's all. Wait. Yeah, that's Australia. Uh, too close? Too have, much? 
Have you ever had to deal with resentment in a relationship and how long, how did you get through it? Thanks for the show. It's very entertaining. Any relationship or are we talking about our relationship? Well, we can do our relationship. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't call it resentment. I don't think I've ever resented my parents. I mean, I've been mad at my parents before. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like like we talked about earlier, prob- would you stop touching? What are you touching? I was. I thought I would make it brighter. Why are you touching? It got darker again. Don't. That's all. Right. Yeah. Um. Um. I, I would say maybe when they took me out of Notre Dame, that might might be the only time that I can think of. Not me. You did say to me, not that, there you go, not that long ago, that you didn't resent that it was getting harder to be just Josh Wolf's son. Oh, well, that wasn't resentment. That wasn't resentment, but I understood what you were saying, that like, you want to be Jacob Wolf, not Josh Wolf's son. Which I have felt a lot more of now these days because people recognize me yes. for me. Yes. Which is yes. awesome. I, I was very proud of you for talking to me about that. That was... Hmm. Be, that was... Um, that was... I was very... I, I had wondered if slash when that was going to happen. And... I, that's why I would ask about, does this bother you? Does this bother you? And I was kind of prodding a little bit. And you always seem to be okay with it. And then for you to come out and say something was was pretty cool. I was really proud of you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Took some time. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't the easiest. No. But it worked out. Yeah, dude, it's fine. And you know what? I, I agree with you. You are... you. It does feel different. Yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent feels different because now I hear like, "Oh, you're you're Jacob Wolf." I go, yeah. and they say, "We love the like I love the stuff you do with your dad." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, fuck yeah, that with yeah with." It's different. Yeah, I it's love it. It's it's a different feeling for sure. I really enjoy it. It's awesome. I really like that, dude. I really, really, Still. really like that. Still, I'm happy that's happening for you. Somebody took a picture with me at Coachella. It's crazy. That's pretty awesome. I was sitting down just watching a set in the in a crowd of probably 200 people just sitting on a hill. And it was like 9 p.m. Dude just recognized me in the dark. Walked by me and then came back up to me. It was really strange. Though. He got like on one knee right in front of me and was like this. And I was kind of high. And I, he was like, what's your name? And I was like, I think you know my name if you're in my face like this, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm Jacob. And he kind of laughed and like couldn't get the words out. And so he just kept laughing for a good like, He might have been high too. For a good couple seconds. Yeah. And then he was like, I, I, I love the stuff that, uh, that, and then he was laughed again. And he was like, I love the stuff that, you know, dad makes fun of you and then you react to it. And I was like, yeah, I appreciate it. And he was like, you can around if I take a picture. And I go, yeah. We took 12 pictures because this guy couldn't turn the flash on his phone. It. it was funny. It made me laugh. But by the way, I love that dude, man. Yeah, shout and out, how, shout out, my guy. I didn't how get your name. cool is it, man, that you have an effect, a positive effect on somebody? That is such a crazy Thumbs blessing. Up. All right, Casey Rhodes. It is so cool to have positive effect on somebody. It's a crazy, it fulfilling feeling. My question is, hold on. Um, you want me to read it because you can't read? Okay. When you embarrass yourself, how do you recover in a professional setting? What goes through your head in a split second where you know you fucked that up? Backstory. I got a new job a couple months ago. When I filed out my paper, paperwork, when I filled out my paperwork. Sorry, guys, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can barely can, see. Can, can we? Yeah, can, 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 can we? Um, I was just like... Backstory. So I got a new job a couple months ago. When I filled out my paperwork, there was a section that says hobbies and fun facts. It says, what do you do for fun? What are your hobbies? How do you spend your free time, etc." I did not take it as seriously because I didn't think anyone was actually going to read it. What I didn't know was that HR sends out an email introducing all the new employees every month. Every month. All the new employees get a description on where they work and the information from the form I filled out. When I tell you mine was stupid, mine came out so stupid. The email came out. 
to the entire company and now everyone thinks I enjoy catch and release spear fishing, extreme ironing, and squirrel husbandry. I don't know what that last one is. But it's the most interesting one. Indeed. I would tell you this. Are you marrying two male squirrels? How is that? What is, what is that? Wow. Lean into it. You wrote it down. Just play keep. Just, I would just become the most interesting person in that office. You either you either become the most. By the way, it keeps getting darker because you keep moving. Oh. I would become the most interesting person in that office. I would make up stories about all that shit. Hundred percent. Or the other thing to do is you can't think of a stories. Own up to it. Be like, yeah, you know what? I, I truthfully thought that somebody that no one was gonna fucking read this thing, yeah. and so I just put some dumb things. Um, but if you ever want to know what I actually like, come on and talk, and we can talk about how uh, how how bad I fucked up. You just gotta own it. You gotta yeah. own the mistake. It's the best way to do it. Laugh at yourself before anybody else laughs at you too. That's the big one. I I mean, owning a mistake is pretty is a pretty strong move. Can't beat it. I think the other alternative is just to become the most interesting person in that office. Yeah, I would Thank honestly you, ask some people to go. What was it? Extreme what? Extreme ironing, which is hilarious. I would ask that. someone if they want to go extreme ironing with you, and then Google it, and see if anybody does it. And if not, you have to make some shit up. But that would be a lot of fun to make things up like they're, they're your hobbies. I mean, and then just eventually you'll tell them that you're fucking around, and then you'll be funny. Oh, I look forward to hearing, what's his name? What's his name? Casey. Her name. Her name. I look forward to hearing how that goes. Yes. Casey. I would, Casey, I would also like to know how it goes. What was that email? Was that worth looking at? No. No? No. Okay. That was, um, our, last, that was our last one. That was the last one, the guys. The other ones were just asking for tour dates, which, by the way, if you're looking for tour dates and tickets, comedianjoshwolf.com for all those things. All those things. Um... And those are your, those are the questions. And those are, that's it. That's easy. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we love you. Indeed we do. We will be back probably over Zoom next week. We'll figure out the lighting. What the fuck? You just keep moving. What does that have to do with the lighting? What do you mean? When you're further away from the light, it gets darker. Yeah, but you're darker. It shouldn't change yours. It's... It's probably just shadows. Like my, Yeah, my, but it's not as bright. When remember when we first started this, it was brighter. Probably just a it, I, I don't know. My eyes adjusted to it. It my I think I've been pretty consistent this entire time. I also just haven't moved a lot. But also, you right here, right, or me back here, now that there's a light on over there, I you cast a shadow. Which is why you being shorter was better. Now that I think about it. I don't know. Because there's also no light from this side, so you just lose light. If you go back behind me. Go lean back. I cast a shadow. Because there's a light on right there. Wow, well, this is Photography 101. Lighting 101. Photography right. 101 is next week. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for class this week, folks. Hey, everybody. We love you. Don't forget. Send in your emails. Hey, man. Pod at gmail.com. Three A's. Um, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. This week, I am going to be in Madison with this guy. Oh, and, oh okay. Got it. Yeah, this is ahead of time. Yeah, got it. This is, oh, he's going to we'll be talk to you from the past. <laughs> 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 Why'd you make it spooky? <laughs> Fuck it up. Back to the future. I don't know. Are we talking to them from the future? We're talking not from the past. We're talking to them from the future. No, we're talking to them in the future from the past. Ooh. <laughs> What's on the screen? It's the light focus thing. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I thought I... It's that. It's, it's, uh, oh, you're freaking the chair. I thought I had spit on it. I'm like, is that saliva on the screen? Oh, my God. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, he he's tired. And he needs to get on a flight pretty soon. Oh, that's right. Boo. Good luck with that. Suck a dick. That sounds terrible. That sounds awful. Um, thank you guys again. Comedian Josh Wolf on all platforms. It's Jake Wolf on Twitter. Or, um, actually, also Twitter, actually. Uh, TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. Hey, June. Iowa. During June already? Before May? Uh, I probably talked May before June. I already talked May. I, Grand Rapids was last week. 
Grand Rapids is next two, two uh, weeks. We're in the future. Wait. Wait. Okay, wait, wait. If we're talking wait, from this that week. This is coming up next week. Yeah, why are we talking about Madison? Madison's not for like three weeks. Yeah. Grand Rapids. I'm way off. This isn't next week. This is next week. From the past. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, everybody. Later, everybody. Thank you for the phone call. It doesn't matter if he's not ringing up the wall. Don't you ever